Get them when we down in the dirt wilding. Yeah. And that's when you really need them. When you come up and you get the going forward, don't stop. Keep praising him. Yes. Because you stop thinking, but he wouldn't got you out of that place. Yes. When you're down there wilding in the dirt, God brought you out. Amen. And now that you're out on your feet, you're not going to give him no praise. Mm -hmm. It's like the only time you call him is when you're sick. Yes. You're supposed to call him when you're well, too. Yes. Because that's what keeps you in good yes. grace with God. People just got to realize, you don't call Jesus when you're having a hard day. You call him every minute of the day that you can open your mouth and say, thank you, Jesus. Yes, you ain't got to go long, bro. Just say, thank you. Yes, Lord. I do it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Right. Give my kid, thank you. All the time, thank you, Jesus. Because without him, we are nothing. Amen. 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 The world is in a fix. Yes, it is. And we need to pray. Yes. Because we just don't know what doors are going to open. Yes. But God knows. Yes. And if we stay on the wall path of prayer, yes. we can do anything. Yes. Because without prayer, we are nothing. We might as well just say, here I am, take me. But we're not going to do that because we are prayer warriors. <laughs> I'm talking, look, at the bank, I've seen a lot of prayer warriors. We had one run up and down the <laughs> I thought I was going to catch my niece. <laughs> but she was going, that's a prayer warrior right there. Yeah, yeah. And they yeah. love Pastor Scott, her and her husband, Reverend D. Yeah. They are also having a jubilee. August 14th. They invited the whole church. They told me to make sure I tell you. August 14th at 11 o'clock, right here on the boulevard on 10th Street. Her church, Salon Baptist, is having a jubilee. And she invited me and Franny to come. So the 14th of August, I, if God's will, I will not be here, Pastor Scott. Because I have to give her praise. And she wants to see y'all in the house. So I am extending her invitation. Because they is a blessing. And, and my cousin, he said, in the CDs he sell, he will donate. The $3 off every CD to the church. That's a blessing. And I know that's where I'm going to go. Yeah. So God give us all. Look, we are, I tell you we're here for a reason. You open the door and they will come. You do his work, they shall come. You're going to have blessings pouring out to the church of Job that you ain't even going to understand. Because think about it. Half of the people there did not go to the house of Job. Only the few that walked in. But they said, we're going to take up a love offering. We made that little box for Pastor Scott. Franny sat down on the floor and said, I'm making this box. <laughs> and she made that little box. <laughs> so I heard the morning. <laughs> she said, there's going to be some love offerings taken up here. She did, yeah. And Reverend D took the box. <laughs> and he said, show your love. And I showed them, they showed their love. Because they was like, it's for Pastor Scott. <laughs> I am happy for my family that they took him under his wings after Fred died. Because Fred to them was like a like glory. They loved Fred Seal. And they loved Pastor Scott. So that's a blessing. So right now, I'm going to introduce another man that we missed last Saturday. Yes. Yes. But I know when Mama Bridget is not well, Pastor Bridget ain't well. Because that's his other hand. Yes. So I knew he wasn't going to be there if she wasn't ready. Because God is in the mix. And he's going to take care of them. I can pray. We're not worried. They're going to be all right. As long as we see him walk in that door at church. We know Mama Bridget is all right. She might not get here, but she's all right. Because he's going to tell the story when he walk in the door that she's all right. So ladies, the members of the House of Job, I give to you the one and only, Reverend Jesse Bridget. Amen.